Oh, Cartoon Network, you kill me. You kill me so much. You shoot me in the head every time you come up with a new show now. Every time. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, I am talking, or didn't read the, the title. It, this is a vlog about the new Green Lantern series on Cartoon Network. And if you like this show, stop watching, because you're going to hate me. You're really going to hate me. So basically, um, I watched a show, like the last part of it, like, and by the last part I mean like the 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes um, of it, because it comes on right before Young Justice, and I don't want to miss any of it. And honestly, today I legitimately had to switch to Disney Channel, because I couldn't watch it. It was killing me. So the basic plot is, um, doesn't really have the origin story like uh, most superhero shows do. Um, it starts out with Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern. Um, he goes off to the whole Green Lantern home base thing, and he finds out about this um, planet where um, some mysterious Green Lantern, some Green Lantern mysteriously died. So he and Kilowog um, go on this ship, which is an artificial artificial intelligence, which they name Aya, um, and Hal convinces her to go because. He's saying, this is what a Green Lantern do. Okay, first complaint comes up right here. This is me personally in a scientific point of view, but first of all, you can never create an artificial intelligence because computers are just ones and zeros programmed to respond to different commands and stuff. But even if that was possible, you still couldn't convince it to do something it was told not to do. It's just, it's in the computer's programming to not do this. You can't convince it with words. It, it makes no sense. Anyways, so then um, Hal and Kilowog go, uh, go on Aya, and they go off, and they find out about these Red Lanterns. Um, and basically, they're going around the universe um, trying to stop the Green Lanterns and helping out random planets. Okay, second complaint. Hey, Hal, yeah, remember, you have a, a secret identity back on Earth, and a lot of people know you, and if you don't show up, they're going to think you're dead. So, ever thought of that? Ever thought that there might be going a murder mystery going on back at home and because you didn't say, oh, I'm just going to go off to, like, vacation somewhere, don't contact me. That would work. <gasps> like, you could have just called them. I mean, I'm pretty sure the ship, because it has, like, these green energy, I'm pretty sure that could make a phone. And then, something that pisses me off even more, the ship turns into a human. Guys, it's a ship. It's a freaking starship. Starships were meant to fly. Sorry. It, it's not a character. You can have it having, like, intelligence. But don't make it a character. Please. And then there's this whole thing about, I'm going to be a Green Lantern, even though, hey, guess what? The ring needs to choose you because it decides to be worthy, and someone who's evil wouldn't get it, and it have, they, they need to, the ring needs to judge you. You can't make yourself a Green Lantern. It's simple logic. I hate it. There are two things. Two things I like about this show. One, Kilowog's a main character. I'm obsessed with him, but they ruined this show. But still, he's a main character. Two, it has death in it. It has, like, a lot of death. Like, every episode has someone dying. Like, in the last episode I was watching, I had to, like, miss it. It was basically a murder mystery. Someone died, and then this other guy is trying to kill a bunch of other people. So, they have death in there. They're willing to say kill. It's not like a... Teen Titans scene where it's like, I'm going to destroy you. Oh, you mean kill? No, I mean destroy. <laughs> but Teen Titans is still so much better. Um, so, like, and the, the worst thing about this is that it's so cliche. Like, everything about it. Like, and, <laughs> like, there are, the thing about the show is that there are cliches, and then there are things that could be cliches, but they make it even worse than the cliches. Cliché is number one. The hero is perfect. He knows everything. Uh, he does everything right. He figures everything out. He's not flawed. You don't have a flawed hero. Ev no one likes a perfect hero. They are very annoying and very... Which is one of the reasons why Young Justice is amazing. Because they make all the mentors, like, not perfect. Like, all of them are flawed. And especially Superman, which is why the show is real great. Because they made... Like, the golden DC boy, like, imperfect, which is good. But it's like Hal Jordan's like this perfect person, and that's annoying. Another annoying thing, Kilowog, just no. <laughs> they write him so 
so badly. And I hate <laughs> I hate him in this show. I love Kilowog and everything else except this show. Third thing. Okay, so there's also this like X Red Lantern. Uh, I can't even remember. I, I don't think he gets like a green ring. I think he might still have his red ring. But he's like a red lantern. He starts out like, evil, but then he turns good. But they don't even do it in the first episode. Like, like they, I'm sorry, they do it in the first episode. They don't like actually give him like a good plot line, like him trying to decide between good and evil, which is interesting. No, he just like, oh, I see someone good. Yeah, I'm gonna go join them now. That doesn't happen. It's so. Oh my god, I. Ugh, Cartoon Network, you're killing me. Like. And now, you, you, your Generator Rex is still on a hiatus, and, and thank god Adventure Time's coming back. It was like, there's nothing else good on besides Young Justice. It's ridiculous. I, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna go on Cartoon Network, because they have good shows. Hey, oh, ew, no, what's on next? Oh, god, no, at, oh, turn TV off. So, yeah. <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen Green Lantern, don't watch it. Just don't. I'm not recommending it, if you couldn't tell by how I hated it. I... Don't watch it. <laughs> just don't. Um, and again, I'm really sorry if you're a fan of the show. This is just my personal opinion. You're completely entitled to your own opinion. If you like it, that's great for you. Um, I hope I, should, I probably should have put that at the beginning because then, like, all the people are oh, hate, 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 hate. Oh, delete. <laughs> so you know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't watch it. I'm just saying that this is what I think about this show. And how much it's bad. <laughs> so, um, subscribe. Uh, I, I, I do reviews of Young Justice and Once Upon a Time and random vlogs every Saturday. And then sometimes I'll be bored and do stuff like this and completely fuck up my schedule. Even though I, no one really cares about it. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Why do I always wear my Marvel shirt when I'm talking about DC, show DC shows? Every single time. It's ridiculous. So, I don't know. Goodbye. No, oh, you know what I'm thinking about. Yeah, I'm gonna end this now. Because we're about to do unspeakable things. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Something bad. Probably like. I don't know. Watch Disney.